I know you're lying. Like this looks like that $8 latte I would get at the cafe. what is up welcome back to my youtube channel today i am bringing you into my kitchen because i have a really exciting unboxing well i've already unboxed it it's been day three of me trying to be a barista at home and i'm hoping today is going to be the day that we finally get it right i've been practicing a lot probably too many times trying to figure out the right settings for my new espresso machine so i want to give a huge thank you to my friends over at castle breeze because they let me pick out a machine and i've been wanting one just like this because i've been at home trying to save my money coffee's outside seven eight nine dollars and you got a tip on top of it and i'm like no i'm gonna figure out how to do it myself and i've really been enjoying the process i think i low-key unlocked a new hobby for myself of just making new beverages than just my standard iced latte i tried a cappuccino could have been better but we're gonna work on that as the time goes by this is the box that my espresso machine came in and it is the casa brews semi-automatic espresso machine i would say it is a step above an espresso i came from an espresso you guys and that's like Okay, you press a button, you put in a little pod. This still does a lot of the work for you, but you do have to do a few steps. As a beginner, like, it's been really easy for me to figure out, and I have yet to read any directions, which is probably why I'm on day three, and I'm still trying to figure it out and perfect my brews. However, they have been extremely delicious and far better than my Nespresso lattes, and we'll get into that. But the model that I picked up is the 57,000. Ooh, child, this is a big box. It comes with so much. Here's my little coffee bar setup for now. She doesn't take up a lot of space. In my mind, I always thought these machines were so big and so bulky, like the ones that you see at the cafes, but it truly is a nice, medium size i would say it takes up about the same amount of space as my mom's keurig which i will never become a keurig girl tried it wasn't for me so i love a nice espresso but i want to show you guys some of the tools that come in the box because the way that i've been learning the terminology of these things i'm already feeling like a pro and you can become a pro too at home okay so of course we get the espresso machine itself it is made out of stainless steel there are parts that are plastic like the water tank and the drip tray as well so the body of it is stainless steel which i think makes it look very chic and just modern and it just looks so i don't know it looks like you know what you're doing in your kitchen so i really like the aesthetic of the machine again it kind of mimics a breville if you guys have seen those you also get some tools to help you make your drinks and your beverages at home such as a tamper this is also made out of like stainless steel it is pretty hefty and i'm going to show you guys how i use this when we make the ice latte today this tool right here is something that i think is really cool too a lot of machines don't give you things like this this is a tool that i've been using to distribute my espresso grinds once they are freshly ground it just helps you even them out so you can tamper the coffee into the Porta filter? Yes, for the terminology. Probably my favorite thing is this silicone tamper mat. It has a lip here, which sits perfectly on my countertops. I'm still able to access my drawer with ease. And it has little grooves where you can set your tamper tool. So that way it just helps you not get coffee grounds all over your surfaces. And I've just been rinsing this off to clean. Everything is so freaking easy to clean. And I will talk about the daily maintenance to keep it nice and fresh so that you can really care for the longevity of your Casa Brews machine, okay? So I really like this little setup here with the mat. Of course, it comes with the porta filter. This is very handy. It has two different spouts for the espresso to pour through. So I don't have any espresso glasses. That's something I need to add on like my Amazon store. So I'll link some options down below that I'm looking into getting. You can get one little glass or you could do like a double shot and put 
two little shot glasses on either side and the espresso will pour evenly into them which is nice currently i have the double shot porta filter in here and it's cool because it comes with an extra filter this is a single shot we don't know her because we love a lot of espresso and the way i've been caffeinated guys i'm not gonna hold you i was up last night and the night before because i had so much caffeine trying to play around with this machine the caffeine is hitting so yeah we have a single shot and i've just been using and trying to get the pressure right with the double shot so we're gonna try something a little bit different today that i haven't done to see if we can get the perfect brew so i love this again it has a nice bit of weight to it it has a nice sleek handle and it does have this little silicone grip at the base which is nice if you want to rest this on your countertop while you tamper or you can rest it onto the tamper mat and it really does stay nice in place while you do what you need to do this machine also comes with a stainless steel jug i've been brewing my espressos in here again because it fits perfectly and i don't have my shot glasses just yet but this is used to steam or froth your milk and it does come with a built-in steam wand which is what i've been loving with machines like this it's kind of like an all-in-one you could do so many different beverages cappuccinos you can just steam um hot water get hot water out of it if you wanted to but you could do your cappuccinos your lattes your mochas you can do um americanos you could do hot drinks, ice drinks, whatever your heart desires. There's just so many options. You could get into doing coffee art as well and practicing that at home. I haven't really played around too much with the steam wand. However, I did test it out with an oat milk barista blend and the way that it got it really foamy and frothed, it was unlike a hand mixer that I've been using prior. So it's excellent with oat milk beverages and I'll include those clips in this video as well if you guys are also dairy free and you wanna know like, is it actually good for alternatives? Yes, at least with oat milk, barista blend. Keep in mind that that is very different than your traditional oat milk. So that's just what I always use for my lattes and my cappuccinos at home. I want to see how this froths and oat milk. Keep in mind, this is a barista blend, so it's supposed to get really foamy and like dairy. We're going to preheat. And it'll be ready when the light stops blinking. Now we can adjust the wheel to whatever level of foam or frothiness that we want our milk to be at. All right, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I've never done this, but I'm going to put it on max since this is a dairy-free milk. We got some nice foam on that. I'm so, so sorry for the lighting going in and out. It's like 8 a.m. and I really want my coffee, but I wanted to film this video first. And then also some extras that this came with because when I unboxed this, I was really surprised to see that they actually include a bonus grinder just in case you want to swap it out for maintenance or cleaning or if something happens you get an extra grinder, which I think is amazing. Like it really does make it worth the price point. Some other tools to help clean the system as well. And then a little scooper if you want to use things like pre-ground coffee grinds. I don't have any pre-ground coffee, but what I have been using, which I definitely recommend, it has a nice chocolate taste to it. It's the Blue Bottle Coffee Espresso. And it also has hints of brown sugar. I definitely want to rebuy this one again. Girl, the way I wasted half a bag trying to figure this machine out, <laughs> it was worth it. But it smells amazing. And I feel like I've never experienced making coffee at home this way with fresh beans, grinding them, and then brewing them, and like making the perfect drink. I think that alone elevated my coffee at home experience and makes me want to make coffees at home all the time instead of going out and breaking my bank trying to get a coffee for seven eight dollars so i truly think this is amazing simply because it does everything and it's semi-automatic you basically just press a few buttons it already has preset buttons for single shot and double shot also a hot water button and then the seam has options to change your foaminess 
through like a low setting or the max setting. So it really does everything for you. You just have to do a few things like pour your coffee beans into the little holder up here. And I learned that you're not supposed to get that wet. So when I was assembling everything, trying to put the pieces together, I did read a few directions, thank goodness. And it said to only clean the coffee bean reservoir tank whatever with a damp very damp cloth and then wipe it dry you don't want to get the coffee grinder wet because it can definitely cause problems with your machine they definitely don't recommend storing beans in the canister for a long period of time the oils can really affect the way that they're ground and the way that your coffee tastes so i haven't been dumping the whole bag of beans in there granted i make coffee every day so i've been going through them especially with making my double shots and it's also recommended to clean the grinder system about every 25 days. I think I kind of touched on the basics. I'm going to show you guys how to grind the beans and hopefully how to adjust the setting with the grinder, which I think is also great. They recommend keeping it between 7 to 10 and there's 15 different adjustments there. You kind of just have to play with it to see where the pressure gauges. Yesterday, I got basically no pressure. The day before, maybe the pressure was off the chart. So I think my grounds yesterday were a little bit too coarse and I want them to be a little bit finer today. So I'm just going to dial it back maybe on seven. We're going to be doing an iced honey latte and I'm excited to have it because baby, I'm, I'm craving it. The way this tastes like I went to blue bottle because that's the coffee I bought. Like it's so smooth. You guys are going to see like I've never experienced that. And prior, I thought I was going to give up coffee because my Nespresso was so acidic. I didn't get a drop of acidity with this. Like my Nespresso low-key was tearing up my stomach and making me have acid reflux in the mornings. But I haven't experienced that and I'm on day three of being overly caffeinated. <laughs> I hope this is not a weird angle. It was kind of hard to get the lighting together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of my sweetener into my glass because once the espresso is hot, it definitely helps to dissolve my honey for me. I don't like it to be too sweet because this machine is so smooth. Like you don't need a lot. Like you, I could drink this without any sweetness, but I just love a honey latte. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust the grind so again i said and told you guys it has about 15 settings there are like directions back here that they provided and i've been keeping that there as a visual to not forget the steps but you can definitely peel that off so don't mind that but it does give a note on here that it is suggested to do your grounds between 7 to 10 if you guys want to get like the best pressure with this little dial and there might be some coarser grounds in here because again i had this on like nine almost 10 yesterday so all you have to do is just pop this in it does come with this little piece that i simply attached that allows you to grind your espresso so all you have to do is pop it in once the machine is on and press is a max line in here that will tell you um, when it's enough so I've been taking my little tool to distribute the grinds just like this a few times around and there is gonna be a little bit of I know it's hard to tell but a little bit of beans on the brim and you definitely want to get those off so that it doesn't end up in your beverage and then I'm gonna take this little tamper tool and apply some pressure, man. This is what we're going to have to play with and adjust. I don't know if I'm doing too much pressure or too little, but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Let me know if you guys have any tips. It smells amazing. That's what we're looking like, nice and smooth. Now it's time to brew. So again, there's a single shot button and a double shot because this is a double shot filter. That is exactly what we're going to use. I'm also seeing that I didn't put my coffee all the way up to the max line so that's just something i'll have to play with to figure out how much i should be doing so all you have to do again is make sure that you're aligning it will say on here to insert and then lock so you're going to pop it in towards the left and then lock it towards the right 
and try not to like jack up the beans because I've done that too. So insert it up. If you can look underneath, it definitely helps you and lock it into place. Definitely need a little bit of elbow grease. So I'm sorry you won't be able to see what the espresso looks like, but I'm gonna pop this in, make sure it's centered so we don't get any spillage. And then I'm gonna press the double shot and I wanna say it's been running for about 30 seconds to brew. region but it's definitely higher than what it was yesterday <laughs> so i just need to play around with that if you guys have any tips let your girl know but i have a little bit of crema today i haven't been getting a lot because i haven't been doing things i don't think the proper way i'm gonna pour my double shot And I definitely recommend this espresso beans. I'll link them below. They were about $15 for a bag. And I definitely want to experiment with other ones that they have and see what it is that I like. It's very smooth. And you can actually taste the espresso and it's not bitter or burnt. I never got a burnt taste with any of the coffees. So love that. I'm going to add some ice. And then whatever milk you guys like, I love to use, like I said, a barista blend. It's very creamy and it just tastes so much better. It foams up really nicely if you guys want to do steamed milk. And I don't even need a lot of milk because this espresso, like I really enjoy the way that this tastes. I know you're lying like this looks like that $8 latte I would get at the cafe. It's truly a very smooth drink. There's no coffee grounds in here like just the coloring of this my Nespresso machine never gave me coffee like this. Granted my Nespresso did give me a lot of crema but I'm still trying to get all the settings right to perfect it but crema isn't everything because the way that this tastes speaks for itself she is stunning she is like the perfect color of creaminess meets espresso so the way that this is just so smooth it looks just like my favorite cafes that charge me almost ten dollars and the way that it has this aroma in my house i could smell it literally all day long of just that fresh brewed and ground coffee it's amazing it's such a nice experience and i'm still a beginner if i can do it baby you can do it and i think there's a lot of helpful information on the casa brews like youtube and even on their amazon page i've been watching those videos very freaking helpful there's no coffee grounds in here it's just pure smooth deliciousness so let's give it a taste test Okay, it's very consistent. It tastes just like my coffee yesterday and the day before. I had two of these yesterday. It was that good and it was just so fun to make. Mm. It's definitely giving. I'm gonna try it on a finer grind tomorrow because every day is an opportunity to try something new but i definitely recommend you guys check out the casa brews 5700 model it really has everything that you need in the box and there's so many features that you could use this machine for i'm an ice latte type of girl especially in the summer even in the winter but i also enjoy doing things like cappuccinos and hot lattes as well so you can play around with your recipes you can make so many freaking beverages in the comfort of your own home and i think over time the machine will pay for itself especially if the girl like i used to be the girl that would go out to get coffee sometimes twice a day why no and i just realized like i can just do it myself at home like it's so smooth it's not acidic it has no burnt taste i taste the actual espresso that hint of honey is not too sweet for me. If you haven't tried honey or cinnamon in your coffees at home, give it a go. It, to me, tastes so much better than the artificial sweeteners that I used to use. 
and I just enjoy my coffees like this and I would honestly drink this without any sweetener because it is that creamy and just uh, delicious so if you guys have any tips for me if you're a barista or if you're into coffee and stuff like that definitely share that in the comments down below i would really appreciate it and again thank you so much to castle brews they're not paying me for this video i did get this machine for free and i am so freaking thankful because i'm just excited to unlock the inner barista okay so definitely recommend this it's a 10 out of a 10 i'm gonna turn it off right now and also i'm gonna show you how to clean it because that's been a part of my routine as well making sure that i keep up with the cleanliness so i can take care of my machine i don't want it to smell or get mildew and i find that the drip tray could become uh what do you call it a place for bacteria and mold to grow especially if you don't use it as often so let me bring you guys over here again all this stuff is easy to rinse out like i'm gonna rinse this we're definitely going to rinse out the porta filter and then the drip tray is really cool because it actually has this you guys will see when i wash it but it has this little red thing so when it rises it's like hey girl it comes up through here it's time to empty so it gives you like that little reminder that you need to clean it all these pieces come apart this is made out of stainless steel the outer layer of this is stainless steel but the inner tray is plastic this you definitely want to empty it out i would not recommend leaving that in your machine because it's still like wet and it has all the coffee so we're gonna dump that and we're gonna rinse that <laughs> I foresaw that in my future. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a little coffee. It might stain, but what are we going to do? So all I do with this, let me get this off my shirt first. Over here embarrassing myself. Ooh, that's definitely going to stain. <laughs> right don't people use coffee to dye stuff and then i pop this out just so i can rinse the entire thing literally i just rinse it comes right out super quick cleanup i would say if i wasn't filming this my whole coffee experience between warming up the machine grinding the beans brewing the shot, pouring my milk, cleaning would be like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm still new to it. So imagine you get your routine down. I'm sure it'll be even less time. I just give it a little bit of a dry and that's it. Like it's so simple. Pop this back in for tomorrow as you already know or maybe later today. This thing too, all I do is rinse it out. Give it a nice little dry and then for the drip tray again the top comes off with ease i just give that a rinse there might be some extra coffee grounds so i'm gonna get those off and then for this there is some liquid in here so i'm just gonna empty that out i just don't want that sitting for a day two days a week so just give that a little bit of a rinse And then we dry. Again, this is that little memo that's like, hey girl, empty me, thank you. Let's dry this off. And you guys saw how easy that is to do. Very few parts. Just like that. And I just kind of keep all my little gadgets up here together. And then the tamper tool, you can just wipe that off, honestly. I'm gonna refill my water reservoir. Yo, why does it look like it's 10 p.m.? Um, it is in the back. So, I mean, you kind of have to move the machine out from the cabinet if you have deep set counters like me. So that can be a little bit of a hassle, but I found that the tank itself is on the larger side. So I'm not having to really refill it every day. So that is a plus, but the machine itself has a little bit of weight, okay? So I'm just gonna slide it over here. There are lines on here that say minimum and max, so you know when you need to go ahead and refill it. So I've got filtered water from the fridge here.
perfect. <gasps> that's why it says don't be filling it too much. Girl. But that's it. Super easy clean up. So freaking user friendly. Preset buttons. Couldn't be easier to have that coffee experience in the comfort of your own home. And if you're a homebody like me, baby, it is perfect. So I'm going to add this to my Amazon storefront as well. So you guys have that underneath the home category. I'm just really excited to have the opportunity to play around with different recipes. So if you have any good coffee recipes, drop it in the comments below thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more recipes i might come back and do like a couple of my favorites all in one video hot and cold and see how well it does with hot beverages especially with that steam wand um so definitely let me know subscribe for that and i will catch you guys in my next video bye